This is MB Now, and here are your news on the web. The police surgeon in the viral video of cold-blooded killing of a mother and son in Paniki, Tarlac, was meted with two life terms after he was found guilty of two counts of murder over the incident that occurred in December last year. Aside from imprisonment penalty, former police staff surgeon General Nuesca was also ordered to pay almost 1 million pesos in damage for the death of Sonia Gregorio and her son Frank Antonio Gregorio. Police Regional Officer 3 Director Brigadier General Val de Leon said Nuesca was also ordered by the local court to pay 476,280 pesos as damages to the heirs of Sonia Gregorio and the same amount to the family of her son Frank. Nuesga, formerly assigned to the National Capital Region Police Office with the rank of police staff sergeant, was dismissed from the service almost two months after the incident. Metro Manila had the most number of new COVID-19 cases reported according to the Okta Research latest post today, August 26. The independent research group identified 20 areas in the country with the highest number of new infections recorded yesterday, August 25. According to Okta fellow Professor Guido David, leading the list is the National Capital Region with 3,627 cases, followed by Cavite with 1,281 cases. Meanwhile, Okta reported that the intensive care unit or ICU utilization rates in Bulacan, Pampanga, with Asia and Tarlac were at critical levels. The intertropical convergence zone is seen to bring cloudy skies with a chance of rains over parts of the country, according to the State Weather Bureau's latest report today, August 26. Pagasa said that ITZZ will continue to affect southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Metro Manila, Calabarzon, Mimaropa, Bicol Region, Visayas, and Mindanao may experience cloudy skies with scattered rains, showers, and thunderstorms due to the ITZZ. Partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain, showers, or thunderstorms due to localized thunderstorms may affect the rest of Luzon. Weather especially said no weather disturbance is seen to enter the Philippine air responsibility in the coming days. The state weather agency earlier estimated that two or three tropical cyclones may enter or affect the country in September. More than 1,000 new local coronavirus cases were recorded for the first time during the pandemic as the Delta variant outbreak surged in Sydney, Australia. New South Wales state, which includes the country's most populous city of Sydney, announced a record of 1,029 cases of COVID-19 for the previous 24 hours. An outbreak that began in the city in mid-June has reached over 15,000 cases and spread to smaller towns and cities, prompting the return of lockdowns and travel restrictions across Australia's populated southeast. Despite the soaring figures and growing pressure on hospitals, State Premier Gladys Berejiklian announced a modest easing of restrictions for vaccinated people from mid-September. Lisa of K-pop girl group BLACKPINK announced the date of the release of her solo album debut. According to YG Entertainment, Lisa's first single album is entitled La Lisa and it will be released on September 10 at 1pm Korea Standard Time. Following the announcement, the hashtag SoloistLisa trended at number one on Twitter as fans expressed excitement about Lisa's upcoming solo music release. The announcement of Lisa's solo debut came just as Blackpink celebrated their fifth anniversary since debut. A day after their wedding, former Miss Asia Pacific International Sharifa Akil took to Instagram to write a heartfelt letter to her husband, Magidana Representative Ismael Toto Mangodadatu. Sharifa said in her Instagram post that the road that led her to Toto was not an easy one and that fate wanted them to be together. She also revealed that Toto has been there for her for the past six years. She added that she is excited to take on this new adventure and this new phase in her life. Para swimmer Gary Begino failed to advance to the next round of the swimming competition on Thursday after finishing last in his event in the Tokyo Paralympics at the Tokyo Aquatic Center. The two-time Southeast Asian Paragames gold medalist clocked 3 minutes and 17.19 seconds in the men's 200-meter individual medley SM6 to finish 17th and last overall in the morning heats. But Begino still has three events left. These are the men's 500-meter butterfly S6 and the men's 400-meter freestyle S6 scheduled on September 2 and the men's 100-meter backstroke S6 on September 3. And those are the news on web. For more news and updates, follow our official social media pages or log on to www.mb.com.ph. Be fully informed.